Hey, what is guys? My name is Eric and welcome to yet another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm bringing you guys a sort of an updated version of a previous tutorial I made. Um, the tutorial in question is the uh, uh, knife or slash gun coasting effect that I did a few months ago, uh, which was received fairly well. So thank you guys uh, for watching that video, liking, commenting, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, basically this is the same effect that I show you guys how to do in that tutorial which is uh, added effects I guess I decided to make a more uh, colorful uh, version of that coasting effect and it ended up not being the coasting effect itself uh, but instead something psychedelic um, which you can see on the screen right now and I think that looks really cool and uh, it changes depending on the footage you use um, as with the older version or as with the uh, other tutorial uh, I mentioned that you are going to need a green screen um, footage for this uh, the same goes for this one so if you're doing if you're planning on doing what I've, I've been doing with these uh, which is using these for uh, inspect animations for your skins that are selling or showing off or whatever uh, then the best way is to just record a green screen clip of you inspecting the knife or doing whatever or whichever skin it is or whatever it might be and then just using that footage in here um, quickly going to go over how you actually use this project which is linked in the description same goes for the uh, previous tutorial the coasting effect tutorial I also have that video linked in the description and in the description of that video you can find the project file uh, for that version uh, a lot of stuff in the description, I know, a lot of stuff to take in, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, um, so basically how you use this is, uh, you have this animation here, animation layer, right click on it and replace footage file and choose your green screen footage. And then the background same here, right click on it, replace footage file, choose an image or video. And then just adjust the um, scale on this by pressing on the background layer in this project file. Um, section down here or composition section and then pressing on S and then you can adjust it by adjusting the percentage gonna put it back to 115 and it uh, messed up my preview but that's okay uh, it already has a black and white effect on it and some contrast and brightness and a blur on it so if you don't want those you don't want to adjust those for yourself then you can freely do that everything here is adjustable um, let's go back to the project so you have the cost effect and cost effect add-on. Do not touch these. These are uh, automatically going to change based on the animation you choose. So if you uh, throw in an animation uh, through here, it's gonna adjust this here and this here and all of these, all three, the three of these. Uh, so you don't have to worry about anything. Everything's basically automated. So if you are a beginner, beginner in After Effects or you just don't want to do everything yourself. Uh, then just download the project file, throw in your animation, throw in your background, uh, adjust the text here, I decided to add text for this version, you can disable it if you don't want it, uh, just adjust the text and your set, just render it out, or whatever you want to do it with it and your set. Um, but yeah, I also have a left version, which, is, which has the um, skin flipped on the left, and also a right version and I've adjusted the text accordingly because it's gonna change, you're gonna just flip the text, it's gonna be inverted if you do that. Uh, so if you are looking to get an inspect animation, uh, what was the uh, weapon or the skin or the knife, whatever is held on the left hand, then you can use the left version and if you want it on the right, you can use the right version. Very self-explanatory. Um, the cost effect itself has a hue and saturation uh, setting on it which has been keyframed to start at the uh, first frame because it t t depends on the uh, footage you're using anyways um, you can adjust that accordingly everything here you can adjust accordingly you can remove you can enable that's like the beauty of uh, design you can mess around with a lot of stuff uh, but yeah the first keyframe is set to zero uh, uh, basically it's like no changes and then the last one is one so it does one circle if it will update see there we go uh, one here so basically it makes a full circle of the whole color range and it uh, changes the color throughout the animation 
uh but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful if it was please click that like button down below as it helps me out a lot if you have any questions or suggestions for the video videos or whatever then leave those in the comment section down below and as always don't forget to subscribe